In this video, I'd like to talk more about congruent triangles and specifically the hypotenuse leg congruence relationship. And this relationship basically states that if you have two triangles and they are right triangles, and you know that the hypotenuse in each triangle is the same length, and you know that one of the legs in the right triangle is correspondingly equal. So let's say BC and EF are equal. And you know that the triangle is a right triangle. So this angle here, angle E and angle B, these are equal and 90 degrees. Then you know for sure that these two triangles are congruent. And we can write that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. And this relationship, this hypotenuse leg theorem, is essentially a special case of the side-side angle relationship. And usually this relationship doesn't work to determine that two tri triangles are congruent. It might be the case that they are, but it might not be the case. This doesn't guarantee that two triangles are congruent unless this angle here is 90 degrees. When this is 90 degrees, this will always determine that the two triangles are congruent. And we call this the hypotenuse leg theorem. And one way to understand why this is true is that since we have a right triangle and we know the hypotenuse and each one is equal and we know one of the legs is equal to the corresponding leg on the other triangle, then using the Pythagorean theorem, again, this is a right triangle, we can determine that the third side of this triangle, this other leg, is equal to the corresponding leg on this side here. Since remember, the Pythagorean theorem for right triangles states that a squared plus b squared is c squared, where a and b are the legs of the triangle and c is the hypotenuse. So for instance, if we knew that the hypotenuse was five, this leg was three, then using the Pythagorean theorem, you can determine that this would be four. And I encourage you, check this using this relationship. It does work. So if we know two of the sides in a right triangle, we can always determine the fourth one using this Pythagorean theorem, which proves that when we know two sides and an angle that's not between the two sides, and that angle is 90 degrees, that this always results in two congruent triangles, which makes this a theorem. It's something that we can prove is always true. Now, you might be wondering why side-side angle does not work in general. So let's take a closer look at that. If we have two triangles where we know two of the sides are equal, and we know one of the angles that's not between the two sides is equal to that corresponding angle in the other triangle, how can we determine if the two are congruent or not? And let's mark which sides we will look at. So this one here and this one here, and let's say we know this angle here. Now we can start by drawing this side length. Let me change colors. And this will be the side length with one dash mark. And we also know this angle here has to be equal to this angle here. And again, this right here is equal to this side length here. Now, the problem is that we don't know this angle. And in theory, there are two different triangles we can construct. Since the other side has to have this length. So we could construct a triangle that matches that length and that would determine this third side to be equal to this one. But it's possible that we can also determine another triangle that has that side length with two dash marks that looks more like this. And you can see we can either have this smaller triangle or we could have this bigger triangle. And since this side-side angle case 
leads to two possible constructions of a triangle, we can't determine if the two triangles are congruent or not just by that information. There's not enough information to determine that these triangles have the same shape and the same size. Unless, like I mentioned above, this angle is exactly 90 degrees. Since when that happens, there is actually only one specific triangle that comes out of this. And we saw that above since we had a right triangle and you can prove that three of the sides correspond to three of the sides in the other triangle and therefore you have side 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 relationship. And we know that when you have the side 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 congruence relationship that the two are in fact congruent. But if we don't know that the angle is 90 degrees, then this just doesn't give us enough information. And I'll be honest, the way that I always remember this doesn't work is the fact that you can write it the other way. And if it ever spells this out, then you know for sure that you're doing it incorrectly. Or in other words, you can't prove that the two triangles are in fact congruent to each other.